Hello, welcome back to our study of Nine Halacha, the teachings of Rabbi Yazim Alameid Shlita. I hope everyone is having a great week so far as we begin our new ish topic. We're talking about the meaning and laws of Kiddush. So next we have Ketzeb Nekaim and Mitzvah Zachar. Hatora Kola Maskir Beshabbis as Kiddush Asa. So, according to the Torah obligation, anyone who mentions on Shabbos the sanctity of creating the world and the Exodus, you have fulfilled the mitzvah of Zachar. It says, Zachar, remember. How do I remember? By, by mentioning something, by remembering it, and we have a way to do it in a concrete fashion. Since this is sort of wide open, so Chazal wanted to make sure that everybody together, all of Klal Yisrael, would fulfill the mitzvah of Zachar in an established an exact format. Therefore, the men of the Great Assembly, they set for us a nusach, a special bracha, for the sanctity of Shabbos. And so that Kiddush could also be recited with the proper honor and Shabbos enjoyment. So therefore, they established that the Kiddush should be recited with wine near the meal. And there are some that say that this is actually a Torah obligation to remember and mention the sanctity of Shabbos while eating or drinking, something that brings proper joy to the Shabbos. And this is based on the Gemara in Pesachim, we say, Zechreu al-Hayayin. And many have the custom, of course, on Friday night, that we say the Pesukim leading up to it, saying, Vayichulu ha-shamayim v'ha-aretz v'cholza v'am, etc., from the beginning of Bereshis. L'das harbe poskim, benusaf le-mitzvah l'haskiris ha-shabbos b'chniyas asa, according to many poskim, in addition to mentioning and remembering Shabbos when it comes in, mitzvah zacher mechayves gam liskoretz ha-Shabbos b'tziyasa. We also have to remember, quote-unquote, the Shabbos when it ends. Beknisa sa ha-mitzvah lahaskeres kedusha sa umahusa. When Shabbos begins, when Shabbos comes in, we mention the holiness and the essence of Shabbos. Uvitziyas sa ha-mitzvah la-amor al-havdel shebein kedusha sa Shabbos l'mehachol. And when Shabbos is ending, we focus on the exiting Shabbos, but the difference, Hevdel, as we'll see, is Havdala, the separation between the sanctity of Shabbos and the mundane aspect of the weekday. Lefichach, gam ha-Havdala shan umrim b'tesa Shabbos, ladas harbe poskim, hi mitzvah mehatara. Therefore, many poskim believe that the Havdala, which we recite when Shabbos ends, also on wine, etc., and we'll get to Havdala eventually, but according to many poskim, this is also a Torah obligation. But similarly to Kiddush, where one has to only mention the Shabbos, one can also verbally mention Havdalah and the exiting Shabbos, he'll be Yotze. However, the sages wish to institute this special procedure on a cup of wine. If you'll just take a moment to think about how many ritual ceremonies in Judaism involve wine, it's food for thought, or I should say, Beverage for thought. In addition, the rabbis established that we should also recite Kiddush in the daytime. So that we should honor the day of Shabbos and we should set it aside apart, elevate it, ennoble it from the other days of the week. Because by Opening the daytime meal with Kiddush, we see that this is a special meal. This is a unique meal, which has to do solely with the sanctity of Shabbos. And since this is not part of Zachar, Zachar Siyam Shabbos is really the Kiddush Friday night. So therefore, we don't have a specific bracha to honor Shabbos in the daytime Kiddush. And we say the blessing on wine of Bore Priyagafen. And you'll say certain verses that have to do with Shabbos. So we say, Al etc., etc. 
And Kiddush Zed Nikra Kiddusha Raba. This is called the Great Kiddush, Kiddush Gadol, Balashon Sagi Nahar. And this is speaking sort of opposite terms. Shekin Kiddush Halayla Hu Achashav, because according to the Mishnah Bura, the main Kiddush is when Shabbos comes in. So as to not belittle it, we kind of use an opposite language. We say Kiddusha Raba. You'll see that's why some people have a shorter version of this. They'll just say Alkain Beirach. Some people might just say Bura Priyagofen, whatever it might be. And even though the daytime meal is more important, it's more chashiv than the nighttime meal, as we saw earlier, but the remembering of Shabbos, takes place at night, for a simple reason, because we want to remember the Shabbos as close to as possible to when it begins, which of course is Friday night. Therefore, as soon as one finishes davening, one should hurry up and make Kiddush as soon as possible because you want to have Kiddush as close to the opening of Shabbos. If for some reason somebody did not make Kiddush Friday night, you haven't lost out on the mitzvah, and you can make Kiddush in the daytime, before the daytime meal. And you could say, the bracha of Kiddush of the night time without the Vayichul B'sukim, which have to do with the night of Shabbos. Im gam lefnei suda shachros lo Kiddush, if you for some reason missed the daytime Kiddush as well. Kol zman shelo shaka ha-chama adayin mitzvah alav l'kadosh v'yakbed lechol achra Kiddush. As long as it's still daylight, it has not yet reached sunset, you could still make Kiddush all Shabbos day. And one should make sure to eat something after having Kiddush. So since according to Torah law, you actually fulfill your obligation with just mentioning Shabbos. So if you look at the Nusach the language of the Davening and Shemona Esrei on Friday night, which very much is Kiddush-like, so some say that you've already fulfilled your obligation of Zachar Min HaTorah. However, our people object to this for two reasons. Because first of all, that's not our intention in davening to fulfill the mitzvah of Zohar remembering Shabbos. And we should have proper kavana, proper intent when performing mitzvahs. The second reason is Shabbos. It's possible that we have to also mention the Exodus, which is not mentioned in the Tefillah of Shabbos. We say it in Kiddush, but we don't say it in the Tefillah of Shabbos. But therefore, those two are not together. And this is why, even though you've said it in davening, we insist that you still make a proper Kiddush at home at the meal with wine. And also, even though one could perhaps fulfill the technical obligation of remembering the Shabbos just by saying words, nevertheless, Chazal instituted and required that we should do so over wine. So as we continue our week of study, thinking about Kiddush, Kiddush on a Tuesday, why not? We have to understand the mechanics of what it is that we do on a regular basis. Perhaps we'll develop a greater appreciation for the mitzvahs which we perform each and every week. Hope you all have a great day. See you here next time as we study Pnei Halacha on the laws of Shabbos and the laws of Kiddush. Have a great day.